Well, Avery and I came home for the Christmas holidays with all that kind of weirdness. We were always doing dumb stuff, you know, ooh, <laughs> ilk and boogly and blind. So we were really kind of swinging. We get home for Christmas. And the big thing at Christmas was we we're going to sing in the church choir on Sunday morning. Now, we look forward to this. A lot of you don't look forward to going home and singing in the church choir. We did. We terrorized the church choir. <laughs> We go into church choir, and the reason I say we terrorize it, we sat on either side of our high school algebra teacher, an old Baylor graduate, baseball coach, algebra teacher, supreme, chemistry, physics, and all that stuff named Bubs Mosley. Now, in all my experience, I ran into very few teachers that I think could even carry his suitcase. Bubs Mosley is one of the greatest teachers I ever had. And we loved him dearly, and he let us call him Bubs, which I thought was so cool. I respected a teacher who didn't take himself so seriously that he couldn't let us have fun with him. Bubs Mosley. Bubs is kind of portly, sort of gray and balding. He's the only choir member I ever saw whose robe fit. You know? And uh, Bubs would sit up here in the choir. He's just about 250 pounds of pure tenor. And he loved to sing loud. Better than singing good, he sang loud. In fact, the Methodists, four blocks away in the summer with the heat on and no air conditioning, would keep their windows down until after the music was over at our church. <laughs> Bubs was really loud. He'd get on those big, ah! you know, just beller. Well, Elmore and I were always playing tricks on Bubs. We'd come out during prayers. We'd pass his shoes to the Sopranos because he always took them off up there and stretched his toes. You know, so we'd pass his shoes. And all through the songs, so he's pounding his feet, trying to find the right sh Couldn't find his shoe. Another thing we were always doing, we'd get him on big high notes, you know, way up there, and pinch him in the back of the leg, Woo and he'd yell, he'd do it, you know. <laughs> Another thing we loved to do to him, we'd sit down beside him in the choir, and then the minister of music would get all ready, hands out, trembling just a little, that lets you know he's intense. And just before he gives you the big swoop, Elmore and I would put our feet on Bub's robe tail, piled up on the floor. And he'd give us the big whomp, and Bubs would hit the end of his robe and bear, go caving back in the chair. And he'd hit at us through the whole service, you know. And then we'd look at him like, what's wrong with you, Bubs? You know, mercy, you know, little things like that. 